dear students here with we will start with anti allergic activity by mast cell stabilization assay the aim of today's practical is to demonstrate the anti allergic activity by mast cell stabilization assay now we will see the theory of mast cell mast cells are the primary effector cells in immunoglobulin e mediated inflammatory reactions they are implicated in both acquired as well as innate type of immune responses like wound healing fibrosis angiogenesis and autoimmune diseases when we see the mast cell at having the surface receptors and that surface receptors are attached to the antibody that is immunoglobulin e and it has the cross linking to the antigen and when the antigen attach with these immunoglobulin at that time it cause activation of mast cell at the same time mast cells are consisting the number of vacuoles in which the histamine and another inflammatory mediators are enclosed and at the time of degranulation of mast cell the histamine and inflammatory mediators are released history the first it was described by scientist arlich in 1871 who distinguished them from other connective tissues by their ability to stain metachromatically with basic aniline dye this is what the diagram which shows you how the mast cells are going to be dye and how it is shown under the microscope what are the functions of mast cells mast cells are reservoir of perform inflammatory mediators and rapidly synthesize others on activations mediators contribute to the changes an anaphylaxis and delay type of hypersensitivity reactions primes beta cells for antibody formations they play a role in a defense against parasites stimulate chemotaxis activations and proliferation of eosinophils and promotes phagocytosis it stimulates connective tissue repairs and angiogenesis mast cell activations the antigen dependent aggregations are bound to ige on the surface of mast cells is the primary mechanism for the activation of mast cells and subsequent release of perform pro inflammatory mediators such as histamine and the remaining inflammatory mediators like eicosanoids cytokines etc as well as newly synthesized inflammatory mediators non ige driven signals that activate mast cell include toll like receptors ligands such as lipopolysaccharides and nucleic acids the anaphylactotoxins c3a and c5a which are the complex reactions of cells and certain chemokinin and chemo cytokines an allergy is an over reaction of the immune system to a normally harmless substances called allergen 
common allergens are pollen animal dander down feathers mites chemicals and the variety of foods whenever the any allergens is inhaled by the persons they enters in respiratory tract and attached to the t cells which is antigen activated then it further activate b cells and generate the ige antibodies that ige antibodies is further attached to the mast cells which consists the granules containing the histamine like chemical mediators when the activation of mast cell is occurs with any type of antigen cross linking with anti antigen immunoglobulins at that time they release histamine which cause the dilatation of blood vessels and thereby number of inflammatory processes is started which might results in a number of reactions antihistaminic agents they inhibit the histamine to cause activation as we seen in video that how the mast cell activation is done now the mast cell degranulation the degranulation of mast cells occurs after cross linking of immunoglobulin e on the cell surface see there are number of allergens are there either it may be a pollen grain either it may be a bacteria either it may be a viruses either it may be a any type of food material etc etc whenever they are invading us and in that conditions they responsible to cause the activation of t cells after activation of t cells they specifically cause the activation of b cells and thereby the immunoglobulin e is released that immunoglobulin e is attached with the surface receptors present on mast cells that mast cell consisting the histamine granules along with number of inflammatory mediators and when it is cross link with the antigen at that time the degranulation is started of mast cell and that degranulation release out the number of inflammatory mediators like histamine and then it produce the sensitivity reactions to the person now we will move towards our experiments the requirement for experiments are animals albino rat of either sex having weighing in between 150 to 175 g disodium chromoglycate 50 mg per kg and which is given by intraperitoneal route the reagents required are saline solution 0.9% rpmi buffer solution having ph and between 7.2 to 7.4 ag albumin 100 microgram per ml toluidine blue solution as a 1% solution and the instrument required is microscope the principle behind mast cell stabilization assay is in allergic disease mast cell plays an important role by defending the antigen ige antibodies from in response to antigen antibody complex attached to the surface receptor of mast cells and they rises the calcium influx leading to the degranulation of mast cells which release out pro inflammatory mediators which also known as local hormones like histamine and eicosanoids the procedure for the experiment is we need the vista rat of feng in between 150 to 175 grams and they are intraperitoneally injected with the disodium chromoglycate in the dose of 50 mg per kg 
Before going to start with the experiment, we need to categorize the animals in different groups. Like group first is vehicle control and group second is chromolym sodium injected group. The chromolyn sodium should be injected intraperitoneal to the animal for consecutive 3 days. Afterwards, on 4th day, we have to administer saline solution to the animal intraperitoneally. We need to gently massage the peritoneal cavity for 5 minutes and after we have to collect the peritoneal fluid. Once the peritoneal fluid is collected, then that peritoneal fluid is added to the RPMI buffer, having the buffer range in between 7.2 to 7.4. Afterwards, it need to be uh, added egg albumin at the concentration of 100 microgram per ml. Then after, it need to be taken into the ependrop tubes and then it is subjected for the centrifuge. After centrifugation, the ependrop tube need to be removed from the centrifuge and the supernatant need to be discarded. The settled down palate present in ependrop should be separated out and to that the egg albumin is added and need to be incubated for 37 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Afterwards, it need to be prepared the slide and or that slide need to observe under the microscope. So, it will give you idea about the activated and deactivated type of mast cell. And it shows you the granulation of mass. Result of today's experiment is mass cells are observed whether they are granulating and releasing the histamine which can visualize under the microscope. Now we will start with multiple choice questions. Which cells are similar to the mass cells? Options are neutrophils, basophils, RBC or WBC. The correct answer is basophil. Next question. Which immunoglobulin involved in mast cell mediated inflammations? The options are immunoglobulin E, immunoglobulin M, immunoglobulin A or immunoglobulin D. The correct answer is immunoglobulin E. Which surface receptor are present on mast cell? Options are FC alpha, FC epsilon, FC mu or FC delta receptor. The correct answer is FC epsilon. Next question. Mast cell is related to which type of hypersensitivity reactions? Options are type 3, type 4, type 1st or type 2nd. The correct answer is type 1st. Next question. Which changes occur due to the histamine? The options are increase in permeability, decrease in permeability, both A and B None of the these. The correct answer is increase in permeability. What are the functions of mast cell? The options are contribution to hypersensitivity reactions, chemotaxis, reservoir of inflammatory mediators, or all of the above. The correct answer is all of the above. The mast cell degranulations. It started with options are cross-linking of IgE with surface receptor, cross-linking of antigen with surface receptor, inflammatory mediators release and all of the above. The correct answer is 
crosslinking of IgE with surface receptor. The next question, which of the following is the type of cell largely responsible for type 1 hypersensitivity reactions? Options are erythrocytes, mast cell, antibody or T lymphocytes. The correct answer is mast cell. Type 1 hypersensitivity reactions require which of the following initial priming events to occur? The options are sensitizations, cytotoxicity, degranulations or cellular trauma. The correct answer is sensitizations. The last question is an immune complex is an aggregate of which of the following? Options are antibody molecule, antigen molecule, antigen and antibody molecule or histamine molecule. The correct answer is antigen and antibody molecule.